Duena Torres. Good morning. Good morning. You have eight violations. Yeah, I was made aware of it when I came. You have two speeding violations, three red light violations, and four parking tickets, and three parking tickets. I was aware of the parking tickets, but not the speeding and red lights. What do you want to tell me about the parking tickets there? Um, I know the parking ticket, the ticket meter, I think it was. Um, I literally- Two of these parking tickets are overnight parking tickets. Yeah, um, but then the, the parking expired one, I was actually at the courthouse supporting my sister, and they gave me a ride to my car. And as soon as I stepped out, the lady was giving me a ticket. All right, that's one ticket. You have two others in front of your house overnight. You parked on the street. Yeah, it's my sister's house. Well, someone's house. Yeah, I don't have a permanent address yet. What else do you want to tell me about this? Are you working? You're not working. So what you're telling me is you don't have enough money to pay for this. I'm, I'm listening, but I don't, I don't hear anything. No. Are you living with your sister? You are? How many children are in your house? Um, I have three siblings, and I have one child. How old is your child? Six. Are you a single mom? We have a uh, number of extraordinary people in this country who have an opportunity to view our program. They have sent in donations to help people who they think uh, are deserving. So I'm going to help you to get this fine paid <clears throat> with those donations, which means that you're going to leave today, okay, and take care of your child and try to get your life back together and not have your license suspended or have to go through this. Thank you. I'm in a program right now trying to help me find a job. I just want you to remember one thing, okay? <clears throat> That you're getting a break today, but that's not enough. Hopefully someday you're going to be in a position where you can help somebody else. I, um, the job that I did, I advocated for um, Rolanda's Medicaid recipients that needed transportation to dialysis and wound care for the past five years. So I understand helping others is important. Just so you can understand. I can share with you some of the comments that people send to me when they send in their donations. The typical one is from an anonymous person who sent in money and said, I don't want anyone to know my name. And this was it. In the past 10 years, through hard work and personal responsibility, I've gone from being truly broke and nearly hopeless to being a productive professional member of society. Everyone deserves a second chance. And it would make me happy if I might be able to provide it. Your fine is $250 with the understanding, don't come back. Agreed. I understand the overnight parking, I understand that. I, I really do understand that, you know, it's, it's a complicated situation. But you have these red light violations, these speeding violations, okay? So you're getting away with, with you're not getting away with them, we're addressing them today, but be aware of them and be conscious and don't come back for those. And remember, someday I know you're going to be successful. You have to give back to somebody else. I definitely will. Is that a deal? Deal. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow. Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com. Click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.